According to chaos theory, a butterfly flapping its wings in one part of the world can change the path of a typhoon on the other side of the planet. This example illustrates the complex nature of weather forecasts, but since recent blunders about how much rain typhoons called Meiji and Morakot would drop, there have been regular calls for inquiries every time there is a big gap between predictions and reality. It goes to show that the work of meteorologists is still largely misunderstood. In today's special feature on weather forecasting in Taiwan, we find out why it is so hard to predict rainfall. Last year, the rain Typhoon Morakot dumped on southern Taiwan smashed the record books. Questions were raised about why the Central Weather Bureau didn't see it coming. There was almost a bigger storm of controversy about the gap between what the meteorologists could predict and the accuracy the public expected. But in the complex field of weather forecasting, the public has to accept that there will always be a margin of error. The Central Weather Bureau uses a numeric model to predict the future path of a typhoon. The numeric model has an inherent margin for supposition. Also, there will be a margin of error in observable data. Because 70% of the globe is ocean, ocean data is limited. So with the ocean data error and numerical model error, in addition to Taiwan's relatively complex topography, these things increase the difficulty of forecasting. It's hard to avoid forecasting errors. Despite keeping up to date with the latest reports, surveys, analysis and research, and using satellite and radar to track weather systems, the best meteorologists can do is produce a percentage forecast rather than a cast-iron prediction. In July 2008, when Typhoon Fenghuang formed over the Pacific, Taiwan, Japan and the United States predicted the storm would hit land at Taidong, Hualien and Ilan respectively. The three points stretch along virtually the entire east coast of Taiwan. This example shows the challenges facing meteorologists. Taiwan is on the furthest westerly side of the Pacific, which is a very large area of ocean, with very limited weather data. After satellite, we got quite good readings of weather systems, cloud systems and cloud observations. But there is no way to find out about the internal fine details of those systems. When we use numerical weather forecasting technology to predict the weather, we need to know pressure, temperature, humidity and wind data. A satellite can provide all of those, which is a big challenge for the forecasting technology of numerical weather prediction. The Central Weather Bureau's 24-hour predictions for the expected path of typhoons has improved from an average error of 219 kilometers to 110 kilometers, making it among the best in the world. But in the complex area of rainfall, the Bureau is unable to provide accurate forecasts. Rainfall predictions are influenced by geography, wind speed, storm path and other fine details that make predictions a very risky business. Typhoon Morakot is a classic example. Although meteorologists cannot accurately predict rainfall, the experts still try to provide maximum and minimum predictions. Meanwhile, the public needs to keep up with the latest forecasts and weather reports and always be prepared for the unexpected.